Did you get homesick? Oh, I never was homesick. <laughs> no. I was gone for 29 months and never I never got home. Really? No, I was in England 29 months, Scotland and England together. And when the war was over, of course we done got married and uh, she left coming to America, but I didn't want to leave over there until she left. And uh, But I was, what about a month getting here, wasn't I? Mm -hmm. After she got here. And she being a little city girl, and we didn't even have electricity in this area when she got here. Dirt roads. And dirt roads, and uh, <laughs> outside John's. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And, and How do you think she was going to take it? Well, I uh, really being young and uh, that hadn't even crossed my mind mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. which kind of thing she would be facing when right. she got here. It's like with me with leaving my mother and dad, you know, a spoiled little girl. Didn't even cross my mind until I really got away. It was 18 well, years old. Yeah. It was just all an adventure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, she was a, a youngest, her oldest. Next sister to you was seven years, years older than her, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and she was baby. her dad just waited on her <laughs> hand and foot, and, and she got here, <laughs> and Mama put her to washing dishes and cooking. <laughs> so yeah. She got I here. Water. <laughs> so all I learned, I learned from his mother. Oh my God! Yeah, that's I maybe mean, that's what I want to hear about here. Let me let me zero in on you here a little bit. So tell us a little bit about. That's what that was like coming, coming here. Yeah, was... I didn't really think too much about it on the train. I remember I told you once before about the porter. You know the different brides on the yeah, train. Yeah, tell us that. Now. She was saying I'm going to Roanoke. Okay, he found Roanoke on the map, and another one was going to Norfolk or somewhere, and he found that on the map. And I said I'm going to Callens, and he looked and he looked and he never found Callens, and that's when I began to worry, <laughs> thinking what have I done. <laughs> Right. And of course, train stopped in Chatham. There was no train station at Cannons. And so got off at Chatham, and his mother and dad were there to meet me. Mm. What was that like? Uh, well, you know, I had seen pictures of them, and they mm -hmm. were very, very sweet, you know, really good people. But the odd thing was, while they were waiting, another train came in that they didn't know, and this big, heavy woman with lots of packages got off, and they're thinking, is this her? <laughs> they didn't know what to expect <laughs> either. Know. Well. So, Anyway, yeah. and she went on, and then I got off, and like I said, they were really loving and sweet. Mm -hmm. They made me feel comfortable. And you were then you were on a dirt road. Yeah, pretty much. we came up here to where they live, and we came on this road actually where we live, and just rutted up road. We had to get stuck every once in a while. And, uh, they had to make one stop at a little house down here, and then went on in. And the food was different. She had a big meal on the table, and had my plate, and they said, would you like to have a biscuit? And I'm thinking, cookie. You know, in England, right. a biscuit yeah. is a cookie. So I'm thinking, no, I don't want a cookie with this meal. And so I turned down a good, nice, hot biscuit <laughs> because I didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. So that was an adventure, you know. And they were, like, the family was really all sweet to me and really made me welcome. And you so. said there was no electricity? And no, mm -hmm. and the Saturday after I got there, we were going to clean lamp chimneys. Had no idea what a lamp chimney was. <laughs> so I watched his sisters and did what they did. <laughs> so I yeah. learned that. I think, I think she could have swam if she'd gone home. And then I searched the house for the bathroom and couldn't find it and had to ask, and I was pointed down the hill. <laughs> So lots of adventures. Wow, wow. Did you, did you have any thoughts like, well, uh-oh? Yeah, well, that was on that train the first time when the porter couldn't find Callens. I'm thinking, you know, what have I done? Where mm -hmm. am I? Mm -hmm. And so after, you know, they met me and I felt a little more secure. And, and right, so. right. And I was sitting on this beach the first time I ever seen her. This is down at the beach where uh -huh. she lives at. And I went to England on that ship and she came to America on it. That's it. Uh, the Queen Mary. Well, let's go over here and look at this collection of things you got here. 
Well, this is my history stick. All the things that I've been involved in. That's Amos Crest. And I was with the mail service for 29 and a half years. I was the United States Navy during World War II. Helped organize the fire department in Callens. Was 12, chief for 12 years. And I belonged to the VFW and I belonged to the Riflemen's of Wind Falls, black powder, shoot black powder. And I belong to the National Woodcarver Association, and I was to buy a farmer, plain and simple. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. So this is, and this is the the life of Norman on that stick. Yeah, this is my family tree right here. Coach Bob. Great grandfather was John Norman Amos was in the Civil War. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Confederate flag with the American flag, and then that goes all the way down to my grandson, which is this boy right there. Which yes, he uh, dived in the ocean out in California and mm -hmm. broke his neck. It's, so it's a whole family tree, and you left room for for two more. If he'd have had sons, he mm -hmm. could. have. This is a stick that her daddy got in France during World War One, and he gave it to me. It's got a <laughs> brought, it, brought it over in his duffel bag. <laughs> long enough. Uh, they let you. I guess that was before they. You have to go through an yeah, X-ray machine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just take it right on. And he got this in France during World War One. Okay. And that clock right there was her family, her daddy's clock. They uh -huh. sent it to us after he passed away. Mm. Beautiful. And that's my little English Christmas tree with the double dead And there glasses. everything on that mouthpiece uh -huh. up there I called. Yeah, let's take a look at some of this stuff here. Where's that little, what, don't you have the first thing you ever carved up there or something? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, let me see if I can find it. He's laying here somewhere or another. Yeah, right. It's supposed to be. Hey. Ah. Hmm. Maybe you have an idea what that little weekend. Wooden pistol that I I crawled when I was in the third grade. It's missing. <laughs> so we had that talent ever since. <laughs> so when did you do this, Norm? I was in. I think I was in the third grade. So it was one of your first. Uh, Tell us a little bit about how you got into whittling. Oh. <laughs> you got the gunsmith to do a gun stock. Uh, the gunsmith looked at your gun stock to start. Yeah. I carved a uh, scene on them, uh, one of my gun, automatic shotgun mm -hmm. and uh, took it to to a gun shop to have something done to it. And the man asked me would I be interested in doing some carving. And as a result of that, uh, he handed mm -hmm. me a stick and said, see what you can do with that. And I made a snake cane out of it. And from that, I've carved every snake we have in the state of Virginia, <laughs> different species. Yeah. We got 30, I think it's 31 or 32 different species. Only three of them are poison. Uh huh. Most people probably think they're all poison. Right? Well, as most people kill everyone they see too. Yeah, yeah. How did you? Did you just kind of teach yourself to will? Yeah. yeah. Never had a class mm -hmm. in my life. If I could always draw. Uh huh. In fact, I got in trouble in school for drawing so much. 
<laughs> One time I misbehaved in school. Teacher had me sitting in the corner on a dunce stool. Uh -huh. <laughs> and while she had a back to the to me teaching the class, I drawed grumpy of a seven draw for about that high on the blackboard. <laughs> Recess come, she said, Well, everybody can go but Norman. I said, Oh, I thought, was well, she going to get me for drawing on that blackboard now? Instead of that, she said, Can you draw the rest of the blackboard? <laughs> uh, seven draws? So I said, Yes, ma'am. And I drawed them. And because she had two blackboards on one wall, one on another, and that stayed on that board until school was out. Wow. Every year after that, I'd come back to her class every Thanksgiving and Christmas and draw scenes on one of the blackboards for her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it, you know, it got me interested in uh, yeah. doing stuff. What are some of your uh, favorite ones up there? Well, I don't really have this and anything up there. Yeah. Uh -huh. And this is just an exact replica of one that I build that I shoot. Uh huh. Got one just like it down in the shop that I shoot. Got the same carvings on it and everything. Mm -hmm. oh, let me see it right now. <laughs> So you still get as much enjoyment out of it that you used to? Oh yeah, yeah. I love. I I spend most of my time down in the shop. Mm -hmm. carving, I'm you. carving one now with General Lee on it, and I'm putting his uh, farewell address to his troops on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. And you do all these eagles and things like that. Huh? Oh yeah. I see you really like to paint, too. You enjoy that part of it. Yeah, well, I, I, I wish I, well, I knew a little bit more about how to mix paints and mm -hmm. stuff. That just right here, the little duck I carved on that, and I messed it back, background, I got it too blue. Uh, and uh, these, these little, little seen, things. Yeah, you gave me one of those, I love it. Yeah. Little boxes. That little, uh -huh. Nature's miracles found in the smallest things. Uh -huh. How about that King Kong back there? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I seen a picture in a magazine that I copied. Uh -huh. And it needs dusting off. <laughs> That's a great. Now, when you start, is that just a, like a block of wood or? Yeah. Wow. Cause he's, I, I pegged his feet on that, uh, on uh -huh. this. That is great. And I, just, I like the sign gorilla. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is a picture of a bat I seen in a magazine. Okay. So you just do it right from the And that's, there. that's the only gorilla I ever called, and that's the only, a really big bear that I've ever mm -hmm. called. I've got one more up there that I called. Mm -hmm. Buffalo, I see, and deer. Yeah. And of course, you did this entire mantelpiece, right? Yeah, everything up there, I call. Random mantelpiece. Even to a pair of quail, or a little goat. Do you find you've gotten better over the years, or? Oh, yeah. Carved all them flowers and that butterfly. Oh, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. And this little hummingbird. Yeah. And Looks like most of the things squirrel. you carve are animals and things of nature, is that yeah. right? Yeah. Is that your main? And that piece of, that limb right there grows like that. Yeah. Now this man a rattlesnake curled up. And How'd you get so interested in snakes? Snake kings and that kind of thing. I don't know. <laughs> I like snakes. <laughs> and back there one laying down there on the floor. Where's that? Oh, that. <laughs> yeah, what do you think of snakes, Mavis? I don't particularly like them. You don't like snakes? <laughs> no. That's a problem. The first one I ever saw was coming out of the wheat field and it just kept coming and coming and frightened me to death. They don't have many snakes in England. 
Well, that must be something to have your husband cutting. Yeah, all these snakes carving in the house snakes and, and I don't like them. <laughs> when did you start carving snakes? Oh, as long as he's been carving. Mm -hmm. First them. snake we was living over where John's house is. Uh -huh. First snake I carved. Mm -hmm. That's been. <laughs> That's one in the basement you did for your daddy. Yeah. I'll show you that in the video. Yeah. I'll get it. Yeah. That's one of the, that's just his third one, snake cane that I ever made. Mm -hmm. And I gave it to Daddy. He walked with it until he, he died. And I got this, went and got it brought back home. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. And he was out in his front what's yard. A, what's that, a little lizard on top there? Yeah. That was just a limb, little thing growed up, limb that growed up like uh -huh. this. I just made a little list. So explain how this works again. This uh, how, how you, the tree is or the branch is already twisted. Well, what happens? A honeysuckle will mm -hmm. grow up. You know, and it bends over. Mm -hmm. it, that little bud bends over to meet the sun, and that's how it mm -hmm. go, goes around the tree like that. Yeah, but the vine is always inside. It chokes it, makes it mm -hmm. grow like that. And all I do just cut away what don't look like a snake. <laughs> and this was, was the third one I made. Anyway, Daddy was sitting in his front yard one day with it kind of like that on his leg and went to sleep. And a neighbor come up and didn't know it would, was a... He thought a snake was crawling up the uh, stick. And he was getting something to knock a snake away from Daddy when Daddy woke up. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. And when Daddy died, I, I brought the stick back home. Oh, yeah. Now your collection, is that downstairs or out in the shop? Yeah, it's downstairs. These are the poison snakes right here from mm -hmm. over to there. You must be awfully proud of this. Now, this is every snake. Well, there's some of them missing because a lot of men talked me out of them. Oh, don't do that, no. Six of them. No, no, no. And I got to replace them. Yeah. Don't but, let people do it. I'm telling you, if someone wants one, well, make well, them one. I'm but keep this together. That's the way it's going to be from now on. Yeah. You say, I'll make you one. Yeah. Don't let anybody come out with it. You got to keep the collection together. Yeah. Please. Yeah. You don't want any of these. And this one right here, money couldn't buy that. And mm. That's a juvenile. That's what it looks like when it gets grown. Mm. And this was just a limb growing up off of the well. tree. Well. See, so here's your sign not for sale. We'll take yeah. orders. You got to stick to that. Yeah. I don't want someone talking. Yeah. That was. One of the first carving job I've done. Mm. That's beautiful. And around here on this other side over here is Hello. Dixon. Huh? That was a picture of while he was in office. It okay. came out with it on a coin of some kind. And I copied it. Mm -hmm. I know most people didn't like Nixon, but I always thought he was a pretty good president. Uh huh. <laughs> nice. And I mean, after the after hour, hour two. Uh huh. <coughs> no, we enjoyed it. We'd love to have them, but when they all get down in here, it's about 21 or 22 of them most of the time. This got off a German submarine when he came in to surrender. Really? The spoons? Yeah. After or or the that sword? That, yeah, that sword up there. Oh, okay, sorry. It's, it's a... Wow. I was... Man tried to offer me $2,500 for it. I said, you can't buy it by no price. <laughs> Come yeah. all the way from Greensboro. So somebody told him about me having it. Mm -hmm. and Absolutely. Right. 
took it off a, that, uh, what's that like a, that's a celluloid. He yeah. said if it was ivory, it would be worth double the money. Mm-hmm. It's got uh, the ankle on it. Mm -hmm. But it was a German submarine also. That took it away from him. After <laughs> surrendered. It's the least he could, least he could do. So you said you're working on one out there? Yeah, I'm working on a general lead. Maybe I could... My line. What's that? My line goes out as far as that... See that tape around that red tree there? Yeah. It goes up for all the way far as the woods goes. Okay. I got nearly, nearly four acres. All right. Legs and mm -hmm. and I got his farewell address to his troops oh. down here. All. So you write it out first and then you burn it? Burn it, yeah. Uh -huh. Wow, that's yes. incredible. That's one of the most amazing things you do, I think. I'm eventually going to call them ducks. <laughs> So these are your tools of the trade here, huh? Yeah, but this is... I use this more than anything else right there. Just a good old whittling knife, huh? Yeah. It's just a... I got one here somewhere or other that I don't move the blade off. Just... Yeah. So are these your replacement snakes over here? Yeah, there's some that I haven't painted yet. And no more to play down to that. Oh. <laughs> uh. That doesn't surprise me. Let me just watch you whittle a little bit and see what it looks like. Usually. Yeah. Do you sit down or how do you usually do it? Uh, I do a lot of it just standing up. Mm -hmm. Well, when you get to really doing detailed work, that thumb on your other hand will keep you from cutting away something that you don't want to cut away. Oh, wow. <laughs> Instead of putting your, all the pressure on that with your hand, just push with your thumb mm -hmm. and you, control it. you can control that knife a whole lot better than you can any other way. And of course, that'll be the... Looks a lot like Mr. Lee. Mm -hmm. The Confederate flag and American flag, and out of the conflict, a new nation was born. Mm -hmm. What got you the idea to do a Lee stick and a Lincoln stick? Well, I did. Well, I did two Lincolns and one uh, Lee, and, um, and I sold a man. Uh, First man ordered a Lincoln stick with the Gettysburg address, and I delivered that at Furham. And then another man seen it and wanted to, another one. So I've done, uh, I got to do myself another Lincoln stick. Mm -hmm. But I got to quit selling them every time somebody comes Yes, along too. you do. You do. You built the guns? Yeah. Oh, those are beautiful. Built both of them. Yeah. I built this one about 30, 30 some years ago. Wow. And man, I've run a lot of black sea. I started with a sight right there. My sight give down and I've moved it. <laughs> and if I move it another time, I'd as well be shooting a pistol. <laughs> wow, do you still go hunting? 
have been now in about three or four years. Yeah. Down to, yeah. down to little small ones. I know you're very detailed with them. Yeah. This. Mm -hmm. oh, down there. Now, where do you get your sticks from? Just go out in the woods and find, find them. Man bought me two just a few days ago. That. Oh yeah. I just found them sitting down up, up there on the golf cop. I don't know, I have no idea who brought them here. <laughs> but both of them are a little bit too big. Mm -hmm. yeah, you well, see this, this twirl part's all right, but this bottom, I'd have to mm -hmm. trim a lot of it down and be so heavy. Nobody would want to move mm -hmm. with it. But I got enough laying underneath here to carve another whole set. Yeah, and you're really detailed. You try to have it be kind of like the way that the actual snake is. Uh huh. Did you get to do those at least sitting in front of the television or something, or do you always do it out here? No, I, have to, I do it all in here. I don't even like to do scaling with somebody talking to me. Oh, okay. It takes too long to you get distracted. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Because you, if you let that thing slip, you're going to break out of scale and you got you can't replace it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you find that time goes quickly while you're carving or slow? Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's one hanging on the wall right there. I started seven, eight years ago. And I'm going to put the, if I'm going to finish it, I'm going to put the domesticated animals on it. Oh, yeah. I already got the milk cow. And I put domesticated animal, animals mm -hmm. down each side and of course that's a horse on the top. Mm, it's beautiful. And that's cherry wood. Oh yeah. <coughs> nice. Right there. Oh yeah. yeah. That's how you burn it. That's, you can kind of control but I'd, I'd rather just use it straight on, let it get hot as it'll get. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can... What does that do? It. What does that thing do? You can control the temperature. Uh, and where does it... Uh, oh, on the thing. Yeah. Okay. High and yeah. low plumb around over there. Uh -huh. and, nice. But I don't hardly ever use it. Here's all your paints. Yeah. You do beautiful work. I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I do you think of yourself as an artist? Not really. <laughs> 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 I, got, 